Hi guys, welcome back to Maniac NUAs. My name is Abby and it is Tuesday. Today we are going to be doing a full face, one brand, drugstore makeup tutorial. I am using all L'Oreal products for this. And I wanna let you in on a secret. I don't have enough L'Oreal products for a full face of makeup because I'm not smart. And I didn't go out and buy products to make sure that I had a full face of makeup. I thought that I would challenge myself to use only what I had in my makeup drawers. So enjoy this messy piece of trash that you're about to watch. So I'm gonna start with the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base Primer and I'm gonna sort of rub it where I need it the most. And I, for foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I really like uh, the L'Oreal True Match Foundation because it's mm, like medium coverage, but it doesn't cake your skin. So next I'm going to use the True Match Concealer. The only gripe I have about the True Match Concealers is that number one in vanilla is very yellow toned and um, the lightest foundation is pinky toned, which is fine, but you sort of end up with a funny coloured face. <laughs> like different shades of the same colour on your face. So this is where the almost part comes into this tutorial. I don't have anything to set my face that's L'Oreal, so I'm going to use a different brand. Dun dun dun! Then I'm gonna use the RCMA No Colour Powder. As you can see, this is very well loved. So now I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Eye Primer. As far as I know, this is a relatively new product. I don't actually shop in stores that often, so I only really find out about new drugstore products when I actually go into Boots, which isn't very often. <laughs> the only L'Oreal eyeshadow I own is this gold eyeshadow. Again, very well loved. I don't know why I didn't just go out and buy all one brand of makeup for this. I don't know why I challenged myself to try and find like a full face of one brand products that I already own. Why did I do this to myself? This is definitely like the definition of the one brand challenge. <laughs> Next I'm going to do eyebrows and I don't really know how well this is going to go. I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil that I actually have in my professional kit um, to do my eyebrows. But if not, I have a powder there that I got ages ago. So I'm just going to see how this pencil goes. <laughs> Okay, so the only problem I sort of encountered with the pencil is that some of the chunks were coming off. Like, I wasn't pressing that hard and the product was sort of clumping in places, but apart from that, it's not bad. I have cleaned up around the top edge of my brows. The pencil was actually not that bad on myself. I think the reason that it sort of maybe didn't work as well on me as it does on the clients that I've used it on is that a lot of girls nowadays have very thick brows and I do have thick brows, I just don't have a lot of brow hair so then when I fill them in they look like thick brows, well thicker brows but without it they just look non-existent so yeah, not bad but not the best. Now I'm going to just be popping some blush on I don't have any contour products from L'Oreal, which again, was a stupid idea to choose L'Oreal, but whatever. So this is the L'Oreal Perfect Slim Belt Tip Pen, one of my favourite liners ever. And I am just gonna jump right into the line. It's fine. One of them like that. <laughs> I'm not filming this again. We're just going with it. We're just going with it. Now I'm going to use the Mega Volume Miss Baby Doll Mascara. Their Miss Baby Doll by far is my favourite. 
anyone else who is a makeup artist or who likes to do makeup on other people on like a regular basis like you and your friends will be going out and you're like oh let me do your makeup let me do your makeup can you do winged liner perfectly on other people but when you try and do it on yourself does it just look like a dumpster fire because that's how mine looks right now dumpster fire oh right, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with this liquid lipstick and it is in 500 multi mauve this is actually more like of a actually got this a while ago so I'm surprised there's any product product in it at all that's done that's the look done except from the one exception of the RCMA powder I need I don't have any powder to bake my face with from L'Oreal but that is my full face using L'Oreal challenge if you like it here please subscribe down below become a member of Saltman with Get an Alligator Ritz Wings. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am Abby, I am your Tuesday on this channel. It is Courtney tomorrow, and then Hayley, and then Kaz. So stick around to see what brands they use on their face. I hope to God that they went out and made sure that they had all products for a full face, unlike me, being unprepared, but whatever, it's fine, it's fine. It's totally fine. Once again, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.